Hi Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using um, a stamp set, Positive Thoughts, Daisy Lane, because I want the small daisy, and Itty Bitty Birthdays, because I want the word celebrate from that, and the rest of it, it's your time. Two came from Daisy Lane. Cardstock I've got. I've got a piece of a crumb cake card base of eleven and three quarters by four and one eighth, scored at five and seven eighths. I have two pieces of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. I have a piece of Crumb cake at two and a half inches by three and seven eighths to go there, and I have loads of scraps of white and some gold foil. So, to get started, we will put that to one side in case I cut it up. Right. Um, don't need that. Start with this piece, which goes on there. I'm just gonna rough it up. You can rip it if you want. I just cut it like that, just to give it a jaggy edge. I got some scrap, and with crumb cake and the leaf out of positive thoughts we're going to stamp on that bit um, just like that that's all I've done that's that to one side, I'll keep that open. This bit, with the flower out of positive thought, I'm just going to sit that there so I know where to start stamping. And petal pink. We are going to stamp this, but what we're going to do is stamp off and then stamp on. We just want a nice little background like that. That'll do nice. Put that away. Right, with the leaf again and crumb cake, we are going to stamp this right we don't want the stem so we'll stamp that off and we're going to stamp that like that and that we only want to stamp two thirds of it to go that way and then clean it again just the top of it to go that way just so you don't get a great big pile up of ink that we don't need that side um, right I'll keep that out that's our background done and that will go on like that keep that to one side Right, with our scraps of white, we're going to do our daisy, so we need four of these. I didn't prepare any of these before. Right. Um, 
we also need our butterfly, which I never got out. Oh, I did. Right. I'm going to do a two-tone butterfly. I'm going to do the middle pink. And then we're just going to clean off the edge. And we're going to dip it in the crumb cake, just the edges. Like that. And then we stamp it down. Like that. That will do fine. Um, what else do we need? We need another leaf. Um, do that on here. Now I need to stamp off and then stamp the leaf down. So I don't want a dark one. That is all our stamping done for now. We do have the sentiment to stamp off but we'll do that in a minute. Right, with our daisy punch, we're going to punch out these daisies very carefully. One. Oh no, it's six of these, isn't it? Just stamp two more. I did three per flower. have trouble lining these up. That's it. Right. Get rid of that. Don't need that for now. Rubbish. Right, that's our six flowers. And then we need to die cut this and the butterfly. In fact, when I made the first card, I forgot I had dies and hand cut the butterfly out myself. Like an idiot. Someone was asking how my granddaughter was doing. Um, she is actually doing great. Grand's great grandson is a year old, so she is doing really well. She's come to terms with not being able to have any more kids. 
She still has renal problems, but she's under the hospital for that. I think she will be for another year or so. But I've got some other good news. Uh, Tuesday, just gone, 22nd of July, we got another great grandson. My middle granddaughter. Well, she's not in my middle, she's my second oldest. Had a little boy. Three weeks early, and he weighed five pound nine. And he's as cute as a button by the photos. Obviously, they live in Scotland, and we can't go and see him. So yes, yeah, so I have now got three great grandsons. I've got granddaughters. Right, that's them cut out. And now all we need is three little leaves out of here. They're a little die in with the Positive thoughts, and we need three of these. Hopefully we can get up to Scotland soon. We were supposed to go up in May, but obviously with what going on, it got cancelled. Where's my granddaughter's youngest youngest granddaughter's confirmation or communion or I don't know what they call it. She had a white dress and everything. Lucky enough, her mother hadn't put it in to be altered yet. So, she's got the dress but nowhere to wear it. <laughs> oh, that's my... Right, let's make these daisies up. So, a bit of glue in the middle, and all I'm going to do is set it off just a little bit. And then the third one, I fill in the gaps. Ooh. Again. Um, what else have I got to do? Stick this on here. Now let's stick this on first. Let's just 
way, isn't it? Right, that's that on there. And then we're going to put this. Oh, I know what I haven't done. A piece of ribbon. Right, I haven't got any petal pink ribbon. So what I did was got a pink piece of white. And my petal pink blender pen and coloured it in. Except it's not working. dark petal pink has had it protecting the side it's state of it and then we just put that over there with a bit of tear and tape keep meaning to get another runner out the drawer but oh they're covered and I keep forgetting shows you how often I use them this on the card We've got to do is stick them there. This I have to cut because it is too big. Just cut off that bottom branch. That went behind there like that. This one of these gold went on top, and the other two gold. Went down here like that. And my butterfly. Over there. So let's stick these down. So we'll stick that down first. Only putting glue on the bottom. Just glue in the middle of the um, daisy. And 
glue in the middle of this daisy. If you could see me gluing that then. And this one. In the middle there. Right, this butterfly obviously never cut properly, well it cut properly, just left a quite a wide, wide border and I don't like it. So I'm just trimming it up a bit. And I'm just going to glue down the middle of the body and I'm going to stick that there. Now I have got some big pearls which are coloured in gold and they're dried. Had to wait a while. And I'm going to stick these in the middle of the daisies. Like that. And I'm also going to I'll find them. Put three gold gems on. So I might as well do that one as well. Come on. Right, we've just the sentiment to do now. And put a lid on the glue. So with our scraps and our crumb cake, that is one. I'm going to stamp that again because it got overstamped. That's better. And I also want this one to celebrate. That's it. And I'm just going to cut them apart. Let's celebrate. And 
put that down the middle there. Well, it's your time to celebrate. And they go on with dimensionals, cut up dimensionals, obviously, because they're too small. These celebrate can have two on. Get a whole one. What oh, can? So Fiddly little things, these. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Let's just pull these up a bit. Like that. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you like um, if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon